Hi, it's me, Joyce, and I'm going to give you some inside tips on how to paint the lower portion of the poppy. And um, I don't know, some of you might be a little further along. Some of you might still be struggling with the, the lower part. I know that seems to be um, one of those things that uh, people, you, they want more direction than the line drawing is giving them. But let's just look at the reference photo and let's look at um, a few main parts. There are a couple stems in the photo reference that you can see and they're definitely there. And you can just go ahead and sketch some of those in if you want or you can, um, you can take the photo reference and actually make a line drawing yourself like using taping it to the window and um, taking some tracing paper and so on and so forth. Okay, so I'm going to do this in two parts. First I'm going to do this and then I'm going to load it up and let you guys take a look. And then later on today I'm going to come back and I'm going to add a little bit more. Um, oh, these are those knobby, you know, the round things. I love those. And you can place those anywhere also. See, and you can just go ahead and draw in your little stems and that's it. Now I'm going to do phase one, and that is painting everything that I see in the foreground. Mixing, I'm mixing um, my Windsor Green, and I'm going to put, uh, let's see if you can see it that way. Windsor Green, Windsor Blue, I have permanent, uh, or burnt siennas. I just have a whole plethora of color waiting for me okay um, we probably on this you know the first phase we won't be using all these colors but I just want you to see my palette because I always have all these colors ready to go okay so back up here now I'm going to take a um, I like using flat brushes um, and I guess that's somewhat unusual I don't know uh, a lot of people, I don't know how many watercolors really use flat brushes, but I do. Um, okay, here's here's one way of doing it. Now, you can take a flat brush and just come on in and then lay it in. Lay it down. Okay, and then follow the, follow the line that way. If you have, um, if you have a, a more narrow brush... Uh, like, you know, the, the one-stroke brush that, that uh, was on the supply list, you can use that also. And I love this brush because it holds a lot of um, pigment, and it doesn't release really quickly. So, um, and then you want to get, you want to make sure that you, you load, you really, really load, load, load up your brush, okay? And then once it's loaded up, you're going to come over here and you can and you can you know paint your stems and just let the brush do the work. See that? Let the brush do the work for you. Wow, pretty good, right? And and once that is taken care of while it's still wet, this one might still be wet. You can like put a dark side where um and then have a highlight. Okay? So, there you go. And then for these pod-like things, same thing, we're going to first take a mixture of a, you know, it, whatever you see, whatever you see, it really doesn't matter what pigments you're using, just kind of look at it and, and take the colors from your palette and let them um, guide you through it. See this? Here's one of those pod things. And so what, when I paint these, I like to put one side darker than the other, right? And if you notice, I, I'm looking at my photo reference and it's like, this green that I'm using is nowhere, it's not even seen in this um, photo reference, but that's okay. I like these colors combined. I know what's, I, I just like them. So if you have favorite colors in your palette, use them. Don't feel like you have to run out and buy more pigments. You can just use what you have. And, um, you know, use your yellows and the blues that you have in your palette and, and go ahead and mix a pretty green if you want. If you have red, you know, of course you have red, um, red mutes, 
it you know you, if it's too if it's too bright if it's too you know you want to knock it back a little just throw some red in there okay and that that helps uh, knock back the green okay so I'm, and I'm gonna leave this alone and I'm gonna let this dry because you're gonna glaze back over it and so I, so what you're going to do is just come along and I want you to paint all the stems Okay, and then paint all the stems and, you know, have some movement coming through. So I'm breaking up all these little tiny shapes, and then when I get to the background portion, I'll just, I'll just make sure I get, you know, and it's going to get darker as it goes further back. Like this guy can be even darker because it's behind this one. So I'm going to knock that back for you. Just put a little darker value on it. Okay, boom, boom. And away you go. And, and of course, underneath here. Okay, so that, you want that to stay. Um, I'm doing this quickly, and look at it, it's all it's dripping. But what I want to see is, you know, dark, the darkest behind the lightest, and so on and so forth. And if it's not dark enough, don't worry about it. You can go back in, and we're going to be putting shadows on, and we're going to be... Um, you know, once this is all dry, you're going to be putting shadows on the stems. And you can come back in and you can glaze right back over that stem. And then you can put some background in here. Okay? So it it is kind of um it is kind of daunting task to do this little jungle area. Um and trying to figure it out because I remember I had to figure it out on my own I had no guidance I just had to figure it out and I used to paint every single leaf I used to paint everything in focus but uh, I once I found out no I don't have to do it in focus I can do it um, out of focus that was like that was a lifesaver and then we'll get to this portion of how to get this moving and this moving you know like because you want it to you want people to see depth there Okay, so paint your stems, paint your stems, and um, and I'm going to give everybody a chance to review this um, to review this video, and then paint your stems, and then I'll get back to you a little bit later today, if uh, and see if you've um, handed in your uh, images and um, do some critiques and 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 such. So, okay, bye for now, and talk to you soon.